some fish are incurably inquisitive. The little egret can attract them by doing no more than waggle its yellow feet. It seems a simple enough trick, but it works nonetheless. Birds all over the world have devised all kinds of bizarre solutions to the problem of extracting little fish from shallow pools. In the swamps of Florida, the reddish egret performs an improbable kind of dance. The idea seems to be to frighten the little fish out of their hiding places. can help you see what's down there beneath the reflections. And there was something. In Africa, the black heron takes the business of shading its eyes very seriously indeed. Maybe cutting out reflections is not the only reason for doing this. Many fish prefer to swim beneath an overhanging bank or a tree so that they can't be easily seen from above. So perhaps they deliberately take shelter under the heron's wings, which of course could be a mistake. The spoonbill isn't really after fish. This scything action of its beak enables it to gather tadpoles, beetles and insect larvae, but it must also scare little fish, which then dash off to seek safety. So it's worthwhile for the black heron to follow the spoonbill around, just in case. <laughs> 